Hello guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Teen Shallot. And today we'll be talking about a new what if that I just thought about last night. Or I mean, yeah, day before. The day before I thought of, you know, what would have happened if Goku had solely focused on mastering Super Saiyan 2. Now, you might be thinking, what's the point in that? Well, when in the future... In the Goku Black arc, Future Trunks basically upgraded, basically mastered Super Saiyan 2 to the point where he could create the same damage output as Super Saiyan 3. And I was thinking, why not instead of, why not, why, why don't we just give Goku a form where he can actually use and has more significance than a, a long hair transformation no eyebrows. It might be badass in DBZ, but in DBS, it's largely ignored. So that's why today I'll be focusing on the events that occurred with him mastering it and upgrading it. Now let's begin. Now, Goku, he had just died and he wanted to gain the same power that Gohan had. Before that, he had to help Gohan prove himself, help Gohan realize that he is powerful and that he is his father's son, that he can go even further beyond. Now, after all that's over, Goku then goes, goes to King Kai and asks him if he can train on his planet. King Kai says no, because Goku... Literally blew up King Kai and himself. So, no, Goku won't be allowed. So what Goku does is he travels around other worlds. He meets so many different fighters. And he, throughout the seven year time skip, he's just meeting other fighters and he's training himself. To the point where he fully mastered Super Saiyan. Now, and he can upgrade it to have the same output as Super Saiyan half a Super Saiyan 2. So basically, just think of Super Saiyan and a half. That is basically how powerful Super Saiyan is. After that, Goku wants to reach even further heights where Gohan did. So he tried to think he image trained. He relived all the bad moments in his life and he created some alternate scenarios where his family died. He couldn't save them because of Cell. Cell. Couldn't, he couldn't do anything. Well, he Cell picked them apart. Using that rage, Goku, for the first time, transformed into a Super Saiyan 2. And the power was intoxicating to Goku. He hasn't felt power like this in a while. He only felt like this when he received, when he unlocked Super Saiyan. But now he has a new one, Super Saiyan 2. So Goku. So it's, so the first two years he was maximizing Super Saiyan. Now he's doing Super Saiyan 2 for the other five. So for five years, Goku trained using Super Saiyan. He tried to increase the output of the form. So what he did was heavy training, gravity training. He even went to hell where he saw, where he saw multitude of Saiyans and he decided to fight those. Battle rank one, you trash, bro. So that's what he did. He fought Saiyan after Saiyan, going even further, using Super Saiyan 2, just staying in the form constantly. And then he saw his family. Yeah, I'm bringing in the family. He met Gine, Bardock, Raditz, Nappa, the dead Saiyans. He met them all. Goku is shocked. Here's this guy that he didn't even know existed, didn't even know who looked like him. Bardock and Gine were shocked. He was this Saiyan that looked just like Bardock. Both parties went up to each other, and then Raditz yelled, Kakarot, it's time for me to take my revenge. So Raditz charges forward for an attack. Goku instantly blocks and knees him in the chest, taking him out. Raditz is knocked out. He can't do anything. So, what Goku does is 
Oh, wow, well, okay. So Goku, so Goku then starts fighting the other Saiyans because he thinks they might want revenge for what he just did. But no, in reality, Bardock, Bardock's not mad. No, he looks at his son, seeing him in the form of the legendary Super Saiyan. And he can't even be more prouder. As a father, he is proud. He couldn't, but as a Saiyan, he's a bit mad. That he himself could not unlock the same power. But it's fine. He still has his family now. Goku's dead. Raditz is dead. Gine. All of them are family. So during, for the rest of the three years, he spent two years fighting people in hell. For each of the three, all he really did was interact with his family. Getting to know them better. And when he did, so but, and then he, he knew them better. He had better family relations. And he knew what it felt like to have a mother and father. Even a good family relations. The thing was, Raditz was still salty that he got his ass handed to him by a Kakarot. So he trained day in, day out. Even tried to be nice to Kakarot so he Kakarot could train him to unlock Super Saiyan. Goku, being the man that he is, instantly forgave Raditz, which Raditz was surprised about. And then taught him. Over the time, Raditz became a good brother, you know. Goku's nice to him and everything. So, yeah, I know I've been boring you guys with the small details. Don't worry, we're getting right into the Buu Saga now. Okay. Everybody is now at the new Tenkaichi Budokai tournament. Ready to fight, waiting for Goku to come. Goku arrives. But everybody, all the Z fighters, can sense the humongous power behind in, in Goku. He wasn't this powerful in the Cell Saga. What kind of training did he do in the other world? Vegeta felt even more despair and anger. And that first, Kakarot's son surpasses him. And now Kakarot goes into training in the other world and comes back even stronger, making all the training that Vegeta did worthless. Goten sees his father but hides behind his mom. Because this is the first time he's seeing this guy. This man named Goku. He's heard stories. Doesn't know who this guy is though. He's never been there for him and his mom. Along with Gohan. So right now Goten has a bit of hatred for Goku. This is going to tie in for future arcs. Now. Goku is a bit sad. But he can understand why. Because he wasn't there to raise Goten. And be a father figure. So Goku stayed back and just connected with his old friends once more. He saw he saw all of them and you know he was smiling. He saw how happy they were to see him back and he just wished that he could come back. But he had a family now even still. Back in hell, he couldn't leave them. But he had a family in the real world. Goku was caught having a mental battle on who should he be with. So Let's continue. All the fights in canon go the same. Supreme Kai comes to Goku and tells him that the plan, Goku agrees. Gohan gets angry. Gohan's energy gets sucked. Videl gets, okay, Videl got beat down real bad. So she was like, she's pretty much dead. Yeah, Spopovich killed her. All right, so Videl's died. Gohan's rage knows no bounds. He instantly killed Yamu and Spopovich. I mean, Spop he instantly killed Spopovich. Then he sensed Yamu coming into him instantly. Supreme Kai did not know this is what would be happening. He thought Gohan would be too distracted in his rage and the energy would be stolen. But it seems that he killed. Babidi saw an opening. He needed new servants and he could feel the rage and anger in Gohan. He could also feel some underlying hate for his father for not being there, for leaving the family. So, that is what, that is what Babidi does. Gohan has become Majin. Babidi promises Gohan that he will help him bring back Videl to life if he works for him and fights his father. 
to bring new, more energy to Majin Buu, who could bring Videl back to life, which is what happens, which is what he's good, which is actually what Bobby's going to do because he knows Gohan in his state is super powerful, super volatile, his mind. If Bobby messes up, he won't be alive anymore. So, Gohan confronts his father and says, fight me, father. Fight me. Show me this power that you learned that was more important than your own family. Show it to me. You come back as if everything is fine. But you left us. You left us. We had nothing. I, mom, would always cry every night. Knowing that you were in there raising Goten on her own. I was focused on school. She always tried to put a brave face. But you were never there. Goku's heartbroken. He knows it's true, but he did it to save his family. He did it so it would be more peace because he believed that Gohan would be the protector of Earth. But it seems that Goku's wishes, Goku, what Goku wanted is not what others wanted. So, Goku decides to agree. He says, alright Gohan, let's fight. Well, let's not fight here. We'll take it somewhere else. So they both fly very fast to a wasteland. Vegeta, Piccolo, the rest of the Z Fighters follow them to witness the fight. Supreme Kai, Shin, Shin does, and Kabito don't even know what to do. Everything went downhill so fast in such a, le such a small amount of time. But they can't focus on that now. They have to convince Goku and Gohan not to fight. But when Shin tries to do that in the wasteland, Go Goku just points a blast and shoots it right past Shin and hits Dabura. Dabura seemed to be coming for Shin to take him down. Shin really thought he was going to die seeing Goku point a blast at his face. So, what happens is, is that Vegeta, Piccolo, Krillin, Yamcha, and Tien all fight together against Dabura. Whose power was relative to perfect, super perfect cell in the Cell Saga. Now it's Gohan versus Gohan's and Super Saiyan 2, Rage Boosted and Majin Boosted. Super powerful, almost, ha almost to Super Saiyan 3. And he asks his father, Come, go Super Saiyan, show me this power that you unlocked. And Goku says, Fine. But, after this, we're having a talk, Gohan. So, Goku powers up quickly to Super Saiyan 1. Showing just how powerful he is. And, Goku says, this will just, this will be enough. Enraged, Gohan flies and goes for a punch. But, Goku ducks under. It knees him in the chest. Spins around and hits him. With a leg to the face. And, Go and Gohan goes flying away. Then Goku powers Kamehameha. And he power goes a Kamehameha. Then hits Gohan and throws him into the mountain. Gohan comes out of the mountain in his ruined Saiyaman gear. And he rushes once more at Goku. His anger is making him lose his coordination. He's not fighting like a proper martial artist. So... Goku knows he has to take do this quickly. So he starts going for pressure points. Hitting each pressure point to paralyze Gohan. And to stop him from breathing momentarily. It happens. Gohan can't breathe. He can't breathe. He's trying so hard. Gohan, Goku's in pain seeing his son not being able to breathe. But he knows this needs to happen. Otherwise Gohan will keep going in a rage and destroy everything. After 30 seconds... <coughs> Gohan has been knocked out and Goku released the pressure point. Goku released the attack. So Gohan's been taken out with Goku who is only in Super Saiyan. <coughs> After that, every, go, every those Z fighters have taken down Dabura. Now, they're just torturing him. At, Vegeta mainly torturing him, asking for info where Do Bobby the ship is. And there's not enough energy for Boo. So, Bobbidi tries to go for Vegeta. But since Vegeta is ready for this, 
he doesn't get hit. He takes more, much more time. But he's then taken over. But this is regular Vegeta, and I don't think he can beat Goku, who's only in Super Saiyan at this point. Because Goku Super Saiyan is much stronger than Vegeta's Majin Vegeta Super Saiyan 2. So, Goku flies forward, he instantly knocks out Vegeta, but not without searching his memories for a location. He couldn't find any, so he went to Dabura, but he saw Dabura was fleeing. So the Z Fighters and Goku shadowed, shadow followed him, shadowed him, until they reached the ship. There they saw it, and Goku, thinking quick, created a, got one key ball in his hand, powered up full, and then threw it down, Babadi Shem, exploding it like a nuclear bomb. The whole ship was destroyed. And yes, you might be wondering, why am I making Goku so smart? Guys, Dragon Ball Z Goku, he may have had his dumb moments, but he wasn't an idiot idiot. Like a bridge Goku and Super Goku make him look like. Alright, he actually had a brain. Now, we're going to continue. Now, Babidi is dead. Boo is unreleased. Gohan is released with a Majin curse. And so is Vegeta. There it is. End of end of the Boo arc. No Super Boo. No Boo Han. No like Boo with Go Tanks and no Fusion Dance. Nothing like that. Goku knows the Fusion Dance because he met the Metamorians. But he hasn't taught it to Gohan and Go Goten and Trunks yet. And yes, Trunks is irrelevant at the point because Future Trunks is better. So, that's where I'm going to end it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. This is Teen Charlotte. Out of here.